I'm here with King Cully, an hour today exclusive, Magnum 2021 top performer. So, Cully, tell me about your beginnings in your music career. I'll tell you how music go for me. I have a little brother named Dane. Mm -hmm. He's the one who really loved music from an earlier age. Well, what my beginnings in music was just him like seeing a people party, so he bought him shy. So what I would do is I would be the hype man. So he would ask sing and me take the attention off him so nobody now look on him so I'm cool for sing. So I dance and I jump around and I make mm. up weird noise like like mm. ad libs and then look away. So it started from there. Fall, fell in love with performance from watching them do their thing. Mm -hmm. And then now fast forward migrate to the Bahamas, which is where my love for music came from. The first day was a hell of a day for me because I mean, I might scream out everybody in a clocks. But the second day, when I get my clocks, a guy would say to me, say, Yo, Jamaica, you come from though. First thing he says, How come you have no locks? Why are you trim? And I said, Everybody a Rasta will come from Jamaica. And I said, eh, Everybody a artist though, sing something. Instantly, my brain start work. I said, All right, Madagascar, at them have this song in it. Purse trigger, me no purse people, but mm -hmm. nobody chat come for me with something. Like how me have 22 win on me something that started flowing and halfway through the song the class full of youth. Like kids from all about all mm. other classes and like just one classroom up. And all of them, you know, that's where I've been in my on the stage and for me that was very fulfilling. Mm -hmm. So I think that's that's where the spark lit. And I was like, yeah, that's something here, you know. But that was between fifteen and about eighteen. Okay. Yeah. 14, 18, there about. Mm. So you left Jamaica as a hype man and you come back as an artist? As an artist. Come back full fledged as an artist and decide to so learn. So Bahamas charge you up basically? Bahamas charge me up. All right, all right, Bahamas, all right. For me, Bahamas was the formative years of my life mm. when I searched for myself and I try to find where do I fit in? Who am I? You know what I mean? Those questions. You know what I mean? Being mm. out of your own country, I'm always say every youth need to get the chance to travel early to see what other people live like. So that's them can appreciate Jamaica. And for me, when I left the Bahamas, came back to Jamaica, that that kind of rubric that I was in mm -hmm. had me thinking a different kind of way from, from my peers. When I decided that I wanted to do music, I decided that I was going to do a, a lot of research. Mm -hmm. And research was going to guide how I created the artist that is King Kali. So one of the first things that I started doing was interning with person in the music space. So I did, did a stint with a lady called Yolan Rattray, right? And what she did was stage management and that aspect of music. It was my way of getting first-hand experience of what it looked like to be an artist. That kind of shaped a lot of the way in which I view the, the industry. So fast forward into top performer now, 2021, and the heels are the, well, in the height of the pandemic. Without getting too much into it, I was in a low space. Decided that I was going to submit. Did the video, edit it up, nice. I'm gonna check the rules, it say name of a correct, there should be no profanity. What I did was I had a bad word at the very end of my video, the very end mm -hmm. of my video. I'm gonna edit the video, chop off the bad word, write my name the proper way, and then I look on it and I say, oh, cha. The very next morning, I get a call, and the person say, you know why I'm a call? And without hesitation, I say, yeah, man. And the person say, all right, you have a video, you have a photo shoot today, about 3 p.m. I'm a say, all right, cool. When I get to the, the photo shoot now, Pierce was there, that's Daddy P. Mm -hmm. And he was like, yo, I don't know who tell you submit, but your submission are the last one coming. And I hear a submission. Everybody did a bank pack because your submission was the toughest, but you disqualify yourself. Mm. With the bad word and the name was spelled wrong. So it's like everybody was waiting or, or anticipating that it would be sent back in. And mm. when it come in at the last minute, it's like everybody just relieved. Because I say, yes, at least the boy have said. At least <laughs> the boy go back and check what I go on and come out victorious. But it was almost like I still never, I still never fully a soak it in. When it actually soak in is mm. when my own my account and said a million dollars. Mm. Yeah, that, that day out on the balcony they saw my own my account and say my art, my craft 
this thing when I work on from, from about 14. Finally, I pay dividends like there is a million dollars, one seal million dollars. Mm -hmm. I'll add 14 cents in the account for mm -hmm. my account was saying a million and 14 cents. My account, I'm going to say, oh, John, what's that? All right, then they're eat this month. <laughs> they don't eat this one. The money thing worked, man. It worked. It, it felt like magic. So, what are your thoughts on the current state of dancehall music? Dancehall nice. Every so often, the music changes. And while the music is going through change, you have those artists who feel out the energy. So, they're not necessarily concerned with what the lyrics should be saying. They're not necessarily concerned with how the song is structured. They are simply there to tap the energy. And their purpose is finding the, the, the pulse, mm -hmm. finding the people's um, life source. Mm -hmm. So And they do that, especially the trap artists, they do that very well. They, they know exactly what tones push the people them button. They know exactly how to drop lyrics they, they know the exact cadence they have the exact cadence of today to move a crowd and and you see it you see me so for me what trap dancehall is is the vehicle towards the new song so instead of instead of looking at it like an abomination what i think we should be doing is going okay at that frequency there all right then watch your style and now boom Put dancehall, old school dancehall, into the new school frequency. Magic. Our news, our world, our today.